So, welcome back to Left Foot TV. So today we are doing some maintenance on the daily little Citroen C1. Um, so I've been driving around with no brake pads for the last month. Yeah, it's been making a lot of noises <laughs> that you shouldn't really hear from a car. Yeah. I am going to Japan in a couple of days, so uh, I need to drive all the way down to London in the car. So yeah, safely be, would be yeah, nice. Yeah, it would be handy to have some brake pads. Yeah. So we've got some distant pads from Borg and Beck and we're going to stick them on the C1 now. In theory, it should be relatively quick. <laughs> yes. I love how we say that, it never goes relatively quick. <laughs> First thing to do is just to take out the slider bolts, top and bottom one each. Yes. And on this is 13 mil. So you want to make sure you crack both of them off before you take them all the way out, because otherwise, if you take one out and then try to take the other one out without time, loosen it, it will, the, the caliper just pivots with it and you can't get it out. Caliper pulls off like that. Then adds in there. There's actually a lot more meat on there than I thought. Um, unless it's the other side, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, you can see there how it's worn. It's got massive groove in the pad. It's, um, I think the back of the disc is all rotten. So now we've got them off, we need to take the carrier off, which is two 17mm bolts on, on the back here. See there. So those two need to come out, the carrier will come off then. Sometimes you might have a locating screw in the disc as well which needs to come out these ones obviously here so we don't need to worry about those. the carrier off. We'll clean that all up in a minute and then the problem with the disc is that. Quite so, evident there. <laughs> yeah so it's probably gone rusty at some point and then it's created this massive lip on the inside and the outside so the brake pads won't be working as effectively as they should. Um, I think the other side's probably going to be worse because that was where was we do have like a really there. big squeal coming from somewhere. So. <laughs> Um, so we'll get the new disc chucked onto the hub and then we'll clean these carriers up ready for the new pads to go back. So we've got brand new brake discs and pads from Borg and Beck and um, the discs from Borg and Beck, are sl they're slightly more expensive but they come coated so they don't rust as bad as the ones that come off. Um, they, you can see there they're actually painted. So usually when you get like brand new brake discs they will just go rusty like as, as soon as it rains pretty much so um, yeah there's a bit more of a preventative um, coating on, on the disc so we'll chuck these on the car now. One thing I have noticed as well is that with the brake pads they've given you new carrying brackets a lot of the time when you buy brake pads they won't no. you'll just have to reuse the previous yeah, yeah. little metal yeah. clips so that's quite nice to see it actually as well. Pads have backing plates on them and everything new backing plates so yeah, everything you need it is literally like a proper brake refresh. Cool beans. With these, sometimes they'll have a locator screw that goes through the disc. This one does not have the hole on the hub for it. And it may be because it's got like an aftermarket hub on it. It's had a new wheel bearing at some point or something. So yeah, that just goes on there and you just have to let it sit there. And then when you pull the wheel on, the wheel bolts will hold it in place. So now we've done that, we just want to clean all this up. Like Dunk said before, we've got new ones of these, so we don't have to back around cleaning those. So what we'll do is just take all them off, and then where they sit on the, on the carrier, we'll clean all that up with a file just to get all the stuff off it. Um, and then that basically means that the new clips will sit nice and flush against the back, um, and it'll stop your pads from getting tight or uh, not sliding freely. So if we grab clips out of here, So 
nice fresh slides in there. Uh, we're just going to put a tiny dab of copper grease onto the slides so that the pads don't squeal and they move nice and freely and then we can chuck the carrier back onto the car. So I say a tiny dab of grease but <laughs> this paintbrush is not very Whoa. delicate. A bit of grease on all the sliders then. 17mm bolts back on again just to pull that bucket back up onto the hub. It's literally just the reverse of how they came off now, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got the new pads from Borg and Beck and Obviously, just want to make sure that they're the same shape as the ones that have come out, which they are. I'm really happy with the quality of this Borg and Beck stuff. Like, they've come with all the backing plates and everything on them, whereas the old ones had no backing plates. So, yeah, just the little attention to detail with, the, with yeah, all the Yeah, it's been quite nice, actually, hasn't it? Especially yeah. with those um, those carrying clips, because that's one of my biggest pet peeves. Yeah. Because half the time, they're that seized in. When you pull up the old brake pads, they just they bend and they warp. And yeah. And they're just shagged afterwards. Yeah. So to get a complete new set of replacement ones is really quite nice, actually. Yeah. So, um, yeah, shout out to Bob and Beck, because really good quality stuff. <laughs> so. How were the price wise, actually? It was maybe five quid more than the cheapest other set. So they were Worth very it, good. Yeah. yeah, very good value. They've gone in nice. Um, obviously as well, you just want to make sure that your slide pins are moving nice and freely. So that one is a little bit stiff actually. So we'll pull that out and just give it a good, a good clean up. Um, yeah, it's just a metal pin with some grease on it. it. All the grease on that just looks a bit dry and old. So we'll take them off, just give them a clean, put some fresh grease on them and slide them back in. Um, what happens is if these C's, um, you'll get uneven pad wear and it'll like it'll wear your pad on a bit of an angle or if both of them sees you just won't get any great power so <laughs> um, you yeah. want that to be clean yeah so very important to make sure they slide nice and freely so we'll give them a clean up now and shut them back in and then we can get, uh, push the piston back get the caliper back on we just need to push this piston all the way back so that we can fit it over the brand new pads so I've got these plumbers grips to push the piston back. Um, it moves nice and freely. If it doesn't move nice and freely, you've got a problem. So like my Volvo. Yeah. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> yeah. So um, common things that can like uh, make it hard to push back is uh, what happened on Duncan Volvo was this little rubber boot that split um, and it let water in and then the outside of the piston had gone rusty. Um, other things is just can seize up, up or it can it? the seal can wear out and the piston can go wonky. Um, so yeah, just make sure that that is moving nice and freely. Um, um, you, you can use plumber's grips, you can use G clamps, whatever, whatever you, you want. Get, um, we do actually have a, a caliper wind back kit, yeah. Um, yeah. but I have to say the build quality on that can vary depending on which one you get, <laughs> yeah. because um, if you get a reasonable amount of resistance from your piston, it will the just bend are a bit it, won't it? Bit, yeah. So. Uh, the other the other way is you can actually put um, the caliper back on with a pad in, and you can pull the, cal you. the caliper towards you. Uh, but yeah, either way, it's not very difficult. It shouldn't be very difficult, and if it is, you need to look into it. <laughs> Thankfully, this one's been a pleasant, yeah. uh, a pleasant yeah. experience. that one and then um, we've only got they've only sent two spare bolts so we'll put the old bolts back in on this side and then we'll use the new ones on the other side and then yeah <laughs> cool so they're nice and tight um, that is all that done so we just want to turn the brake disc so that the wheel nuts line up with the holes and then we can chuck the wheel back on this side. Then we'll attack the other side. Um, and then it'll be job done. 
yeah, then it's job done. And, and this is this is actually taken about half an hour of work so far. Hasn't yeah, it? So, with us filming as well. So yeah. like normally we could probably have the whole job done within, within half an hour oh, if we were messing around filming. Um, so that's quite good. Yeah, for yeah. us. That's yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah. Normally it'd be like three, four hours. Yeah. So um, yeah, we'll get the other side on, and then I'll show you what you have to do before you drive off. got the other side off and yeah it's pretty similar to the first side to be honest it's not really any worse um, just got big metal um, rusty lip on the outside and it's worn grooves into the pad either side we were getting a quite a severe squeak and I was hoping to see some metal on metal because it did sound like we were getting down to metal or like at least a wear marker but um, it may just be because it's rubbing against bits of this I don't know but we'll get it all back together and hopefully the squeak has disappeared um, it did sound like it was coming from the front so yeah yeah, yeah so yeah. okay that's the brakes finished isn't it yeah so nice easy job very very quick um, obviously before you move the car you want to just make sure you pump the pedal a few times until the brakes go hard otherwise you'll have no brakes for the first couple of months <laughs> yeah. nice easy job today I've actually quite enjoyed just being camera boy today yeah. I've, I've, my hands have stayed pretty clean Yeah. so I'm happy Ash is happy he's got a stopping car now <laughs> yeah, yeah I don't have to panic all the time yeah. so yeah all sorted um, big thanks to Borg and Beck for the brake discs and the pads yes um, but, yeah just really good quality stuff so um yeah, that is it for brake pads on the Citroen C1. We'll catch you in the next one.